Hello and welcome to another video. Here I share my art journey trying to learn and inspire anyone who watches it. Feel free to write about yours too, even if it's not art related. This was a tough and loud work week in my formal job. I got to travel many days and when it happens, I feel a little distance from my artsy side. So every night I try to reserve a quiet time, just sketching and reading a book. The habit of reading is being so important in my recent life. Are you reading something lately? I lived this week just anticipating the weekend because it was going to have a different event that I love to share with you. Hey guys, good morning! It's a Saturday morning here and I'm really excited because today is gonna be a different day. Today I'll be on a workshop of Mike Azevedo. He's a great artist here in Brazil. He's kind of a rock star between the artists. So probably between my classmates there will be another great artist too. And today it is gonna be about splash arts and how to get the energy of the sketches throughout the whole piece. It's going to be during the whole day and I'm really excited, so let's set up and see what we can learn. This Saturday my girlfriend was going to use the office, so I got a different setup and could focus a lot on the glass. I love the lack of interruptions I usually have on weekends. Mike started teaching us about some important things of the market and also about the usual schedule of a splash art production, budget based on real market cases, his thinking process and much more. Unfortunately, he had some technical issues and had to reschedule to another day, so I used that time to work a little bit more on an exercise for a next project of mine. On the second day, he dove in even deeper on the content and shocked us with the knowledge he has. Okay, now the first part is over. It was a theoretical part with some talking and explanations and now the part two is going to be practical. Okay, it's over now. It's been almost five hours of workshop and the second part was really interesting because it was practical and it was done based on paint overs over projects of the classmates so it teaches us a lot about splash arts in particular and some tips of real pros so it was great amazing i'm crazy to start applying these tips and i actually started this week I could begin the process of a thumbnail using the notes I've made. I couldn't decide which character to use, so I chose Belladur, a character of mine. I already posted a video about his creation process if you want to know him better. At this time of the painting I felt how worth it is to invest on those classes. It taught me how to use better my references, what I need to think while trying to communicate with the splash art, how to make the composition more dynamic, and many things more. On this one, I was trying to show Belladur during a battle on a dark hallway. It's not technically perfect, but I know how important it is for my development process. In life, we have to remember every small step we take in the direction we want. And that's what I could get for that thumbnail. On the next week I'll try doing another options too, so we can choose the best one to render and take to the final result. I felt really happy with my learning this week and I can't wait to practice more in the next days. I'll show you everything here so don't forget to subscribe to receive the other videos, okay? Hey, tell me in the comments what you've been learning lately. It doesn't have to be art related. Thank you so much for watching till here. I hope you liked it as much as I did and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!